In this Gibbs Cam video, we're going to show you how to set up your post processors in Gibbs. Now, there's basically a couple different types of post processors for Gibbs. There's the ones that are like for two axis machines, three axis vertical mills, etc. Uh, post, processors, post processors that do not have a VMM or MDD. And if you're asking what those are let me just bring up if you type in your help menu at what an mdd is it's the machine definition document and it controls many things like the software including number of position of and you can read more in here then there's also the vmm so if we go to our help menu and type in vmm this is what a vmm is with customization vmms are now available to support the definition and positioning of axes such as subspindles etc so if you have a three axis mill and uh, no special um, things that you want on it, you will probably not have a MDD or VMM. But in the case of something like a lathe with a subspindle and uh, uh, multiple turrets, you will have a VMM and MDD specific for that particular machine. Now, as far as where the post processors need to go, they can be resident on your PC anywhere you would like. Uh, I usually create a folder under my C drive or whatever drive you choose and maybe call it Gibbs Post Processors. Then under that you can create different folders for different machines. Uh, you normally do not want to put the Post Processors in with the Gibbs program because when you uh, load a new version of Gibbs or uh, uninstall an old version of Gibbs, if you have that folder in there with your Post Processors, then they may get deleted. So Gibbs does not require you to have the post processors in with your program. So if we look at my screen here, here's my folder and right now I just have them in the download section but uh, you can put these wherever you'd like. I just have a few posts in here. Uh, something like the Doosan. This is just a single post processor. If I go back, same with Haas. And this one would just be like a Mori uh, CMX machine. So these are all just single post processors. And this could be for a three axis mill, four axis mill, uh, or two axis lathe. Now this one here I have, uh, this one's for an NLX machine, a DMG Mori NLX machine with a sub spindle and live tooling. So this requires an MDD and a VMM. And when you get your post processor from Gibbs or your reseller, that will usually be uh, set up as a zip file. Now in order to get the correct VMM and MDD where it needs to go in Gibbs, the best thing to do, and I'll just pull this off my screen here a bit, is to open up a blank screen in Gibbs nothing in here, don't open any part files or anything, and take that zip file and drag it from your computer onto the blank screen in Gibbs and, and uh, release your mouse there and it's gonna tell you where the target's gonna be. It's gonna tell you the post processor, the MDD, the post, uh, PDF, and uh, anything else in there and uh, MDD and VMM. And so that's all you need to do and then click OK. Now what that's going to do is it's going to put the MDD and VMM in the correct folders that you need to start the machine. So if I go to File and New, and we'll just leave it as Untitled, if you have a VMM MDD, then when you go to your document list, you can scroll down there will be a lot more in mine than you'll see on yours. But if I go down to my list here, you will see the post processor that I have for this machine I just loaded and showed you it will be this one right here. So if I click on that, that loads my machine up and all this comes from the MDD and VMM. And you can see now this has a machine uh, main spindle and a sub spindle. This is a single turret, so you're only going to see uh, one turret there. Otherwise, you would see multiple turrets over here. So that's how you set it up. Now, if you'd like to put the MDD and VMM uh, manually, 
into uh, the Gibbs program, you can do it this way. Open up your Windows Explorer. And normally you'll have the C drive and you'll either have program files. Well, everybody will have program files and program files 86. But a lot of times PCs have the program data turned off. So in order to turn that on, you need to go to the button that says View, up here, the tab that says View, and over to where it says Options, and Change Folder and Search Options. Go to the View tab, and go down to where it says Under Hidden Files and Folders, to show hidden files, folders, and drives on, and of course, click Apply on there. So then you will have the program data folder available to you. So if you go to program data and then you go to Cambrio and go to your Gibbs Cam folder you'll see the different versions you might have loaded on your computer. In this case I'm running 22039 so I'm going to open that up and you can see I have a folder that says MDD and VMM. So if I open up the MDD folder of course there's a lot more in here than what you'll have on your computer I will have my Morseki NL2500SYMDD in here. So you can take it from your folder and just drag it into this folder or copy and paste. And as you can see, the VMM. I also have the same thing over in here, the VMM. So the extensions on your files will be MDD and VMM. So if I drag that folder on here, this folder that has my posts in it, so here's my zip file. I already dragged my zip file onto the screen and it loaded everything up here. But now I need to unzip it so I have the post processor. So I'm just going to right click and we'll use WinZip. You can use anything you'd like. And I'm going to unzip it to that location. And now you can see I have a VMM and MDD. You might want to make a folder that has all that in there. I'll just call this NLX Mori. I'll put the MDD in there and the VMM and the post for that. So now if I go into that folder, you'll see I have the MDD, VMM, and the post. So there's your post processor you will use when you go to post code. But here's your MDD and VMM. So if you wanted to, you could take this MDD copy it and paste it in the program data location which I showed you previously. And the same thing of course for the VMM. Then you're already set up to go. So if you're just using a standard post without a VMM or MDD you could go to file, let's just do new, we'll just do untitled again. And if I go up to my document control and just choose a three axis vertical mill. Then when you go to post code after you uh, create your CAM program and go to post code you can just choose your post processor. So once you have your program machined go up to your post click on this icon here and find your folder with your post processors in that folder and then in this case my BF6, click on open. There's your post processor. Of course click here and save it to where you'd like to save the code and then of course process there. But this is how you set your post processors up, uh, whether it's a MDD VMM type or just a single post processors. Thank you for watching.